everyone, Erin here again today, and I wanted to talk to you a little about found items. Now, every now and then I come across something where I'm like, ooh, that's really cool, and it just kind of came from the most oddball place, and that's where all of these little things have come from. And every now and then you just are looking for something different to alter or to create or to make something new, and that's where all of this stuff has come from. And so I just kind of hang on to it. I have a little place in the back, um, I kind of like a drawer where I keep my little found items, and I'm going to show them off. So first easy one are bags. Um, you get little gift bags all the time and it could be like a wine shaped bag or we just ordered dominoes and we happen to get a white dominoes bag and it's a large one. It is super simple just to hang on to these little and they're nothing fancy. They're just plain bags or it was even a free bag that came with, I think we ordered a drink and so we got a bag with it. And you can alter this. You can put things in front of it. You can create all kinds of new fun stuff. Versions like these, I think, you know, you get just everywhere. And so this was one that I made last Halloween from another altered bag. And it's just, it's a fun way to kind of dress up a gift to somebody or a wine or whatever. Even the little bags, even ones that are like pink with spots on them. It's a starting base for something new. So I always hang on to plain gift bags, not the ones that you get from birthday presents, but I'm talking about more like plain ones like this. Another fun thing that I always like to hang on to are little boxes like these. And it's just kind of a cool way. And this one's already kind of got some fun things to it. I mean, this came with a, I think this had an ornament in it. And so it's got a fun opening hole. I've hung on to this for about a year and a half and I'm just kind of waiting for the right oomph to kind of hit me. Um, this was, I think it had like a piece of jewelry in it. I've used this version of a box before. But it's just, it, was, it had chocolate in it, and it's just a really cool little box, and then I alter the whole box, and I keep things in it now. So it's just kind of fun. Uh, another version of a box, and this came when I went to a scrapper treat. They had our kits in these boxes, and it's just, you know, everything that we needed for the kit was inside of it, but I was like, ooh, that's kind of a fun little box. Maybe I can do something with that. So I saved the box. You never know when you can have something that you can do something cool with. Maybe I do something where it's open. I don't know. Just kind of fun stuff. Um, this little book, I've had this for about two or three years, and it's just a plain, like, covered book. Nothing fancy, just plain white pages. But you never know when something like this. Maybe I'll alter the front and make it a mini journal book in the future. I don't know where I'm going to go with it, but I'm going to hang on to it for just, just in case. Um, this came out of like a kid's craft. We used to do the kiwi crates for a while and we did most of the crafts that were in them with the kids, but this was left over from something else. I think it was just like a shipping package inside the box to help, but I just thought it was kind of cool that maybe it could just like turn into like a, you know, the, the binding of an outside of a book or something. I don't know. I haven't really thought, but I just thought it was kind of cool because it already had the cutouts and it was a nice size for doing like a little mini altered book of like the, like the outside, the cover of it. Um, again, these as well, I think these were inserts to something else. I like that it had a nice shiny front. I actually used the back side of this on a different project because I had like three or four of these. And so I've just kind of hung on to them. Maybe I need, and it, they're, they're heavy. They're a little bit thicker than your normal chipboard, so you never know. Um, this was another piece that was a packaging insert. It's just kind of a long, super thick. And so if I needed like a large something, maybe I want to alter the whole thing and make it a decorative piece. I don't know, but I just wanted to keep it. That's what all these are. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I want to keep them. Um, these two are my most recent finds and they're kind of neat. I'm going to go with these ones first. We just got some outside, new outside furniture and it had a big pole for an umbrella and up and down the pole it had all these really cool tube things and my husband looked at me because he unwrapped the box and he said, I knew you'd want to keep those. I'm like, you know me so well. And he goes, well, if you didn't, we're going to keep them. I was going to keep them. I said, haha, you thought of me first, they're mine. <laughs> So I don't know where I'm gonna go with them yet. I have a few pondering ideas, but you know, really kind of cool altered something or other. Just kind of fun, you know, definitely more into the home decor idea for that, I think. And then we also got some chairs and these boxes had two chairs in there to a piece. And at the bottom of every box where the chair legs were hitting, they put these really 
hard squares. And they're not your typical cardboard. They're really like firm, like chipboard, but thicker. And on some of them, you can actually see where like, it's kind of dented in right there where the chair leg was hitting. And it was purely just for the purpose, like here's another one. There was a couple where the chair leg was hitting. And I was thinking, oh, well these are like really cool little squares. I could alter these. I could like punch hole and turn them into like a book. And these are just the base for the book. And because we, there was two boxes and there's four legs per chair, there was eight pieces total. So I just thought it was kind of a fun way to start a new book or just as a blank square canvas if I wanted to do a canvas instead. So I hung on to all those. So again, you never know when inspiration hits you in the face and you're like, oh, I just want to keep that. And so just fun new ways, fun things to kind of hang on to. And this is where the hoarding comes in with us when we came to tend to keep everything. But you know, they're kind of, you never know when you're going to want to have something fun and new in your art stash besides paper. You know, this is kind of a fun thing to decorate. And how often do you come across something like this? And you didn't have to buy it. It kind of came with something already. And that's what I love about these. I did not go buy any of this. It came from something and I'm gonna repurpose it. So call it upcycling, call it, you know, repurposing, call it, you know, altering, whatever you wanna call it. It's just a fun way to kind of go about making new fun art. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe, talk to you again soon. Welcome to my 1500 giveaway. I'm giving away four different Brutus Romero mini chalk ink sets to lucky winners who subscribe to my channel. All I need you to do is go to the video linked here, which is my Brutus Romero ink lab. Go in the top corner and hit the I button. It'll take you directly to that video. And then just leave a comment that you would like to win. And if you're a new subscriber, please say that. Or if you're a returning subscriber, let me know. That's it. Thanks so much. Bye.